Within the U.S. government, we've traditionally said that there are three P's which are important in doing anti-trafficking work. This is prevention, protection, and prosecution. Prosecution of traffickers usually falls to other U.S. government agencies who are better skilled and have more of a history of dealing with the prosecution angle. So the USAID Albania programs for anti-trafficking have focused on prevention of trafficking and protection of victims. But one of the things that's become increasingly more important for USAID Albania's uh, anti-trafficking programs, but also for, I can see in the government of Albania and local Albanian actors, is the coordination aspect. actor can do everything in anti-trafficking and so coordination of efforts is essential to have a, a well-functioning anti-trafficking program so that each player has their sort of niche or specialty within anti-trafficking but they have to know what the other partner is doing and what other actors and what the government is doing to wrap it all together. First, we help create forums in local communities, and our NGOs have been key in that because many of our NGOs have, have taken on as part of their work the intent to create local networks for anti-trafficking. But it replicates the larger structure that we have encouraged at the national level. The next thing is that we've, we've worked at a multi-chark level. We use a mechanism called regional cluster groups where we would bring together uh, government officials and uh, NGO people from several charks. So they're from communities that don't necessarily interact very much. Fal Interestingly enough, that although we came in with the, without an intent to create formalized uh, networks or coalitions, we feel one of our successes is in fact the creation of one formal coalition, and that's the National Anti-Trafficking Shelter Coalition. Coalitionist three have me to have a bashkun on part of who are the others who are not more motor post touch me. Në vojat për integrimin e viktimave të trafikimit dhe përbëhat nga 5 trezat antitrafik në Shqipëri, si që është Qëndra Komtare për ICE për viktimate trafikimit, organizatat të ndryshën dhe barbart, organizatat tjetër vizion në Elbasan dhe Qëndra Vatra në Vlorë dhe Qëndra Komunitare në Gjirokaster. Të 5 trezat bashkunojnë edhe për të adresuar sa më mirë në vojat e viktimave, por edhe për të lobuar për përmirësimin e politikave, programeve dhe që ndroshmëri në këtyre shërbimeve në Shqipëri. Since the shelters have come together and formed the Shelter Coalition, half of them are working on their own web pages now, they are writing co-proposals, their data is universalized. Their data is universalized to the point where the Ministry of Interior cited the CAT database in their database meeting. A lot of what we've been doing is working with our partners to identify what are our meaningful indicators and goals and remembering that the whole realm of anti-trafficking is quite new. You know, it's less than 10 years old in terms of the legal framework. So it's still an area where we're building the tools by which we determine what's successful anti-trafficking work. been supporting a lot of projects that do awareness raising in uh, high schools and with women's groups and things. But we say, well, how do you know whether it's made a difference? 
we've been able to discover quite significant levels of message retention. And surprisingly, about 25% of the, of the people involved in awareness raising have actually taken an action. Ne kemi mësuar shumë gjyra të reja dhe në për të gjitha seansat jemi knaqër sepse jemi ndarë në grupe, kemi bërë punë dhe i kemi dëcuar këtë fleta dhe i kemi paracitur para të gjithë të nëzëzve të tjerë. E të gjithë duke shpreur nga një ide i ka dalë një mesaj më jefti madhë që të gjithë dhe në ka knaqër. Diskutojmë mund të diskutojmë në familje, më shoqërim dhe në abon në më thënë që të mendojmë më shumë dhe të jemi më të matur apo të kemi një informacion më shumë për të bërë ditë shka në jetë. One of the important commitments, actually I would say obligations that we assumed in the start of the CAT program was to try to significantly shift the geographic allocation of the funds on anti-trafficking and the activities on anti-trafficking. It had been noticed in the workshop in February 2003 that USAID ran that the majority of the anti-trafficking funds that were going into civil society were going into organizations in the capital. We said something has to happen so that we can change this dynamic and, and create uh, the opportunity for these lesser capacitated, less experienced organizations to be able to win our, our grants. <laughs> and so in the second phase, we decided to actually use our grant fund also to call for an NGO that would do capacity building for other NGOs. An organization called the Albanian National Training and Technical Research Center, otherwise known as ANTARC, um, got that grant. And it turned into a wonderful experience all the way around. So it was a real win-win situation. And with that process, then we were able to really transfer our commitments so that we, we ended up funding almost no capital NGOs. And, and it all went out into the regions.